Hello, my name is Jacob Wittenberg, and I would like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In today's session, we will show you a quick overview of GPS Pathfinder Office's Differential Correction Wizard. First, I'm going to open and select the project folder I want to work with. And here I'm going to show you what the file looks like before differential correction. If I click open, I can select my file to view before running the differential correction wizard. As you can see, this file is not processed yet. And if I click open, it'll open the file. Here you can see it consists of a few point features and one line feature. I can access the differential correction wizard by clicking on Utilities and then going to Differential Correction or from the shortcut on the toolbar. Go ahead and open the Differential Correction Wizard now. Here I can view the SSF files that are stored in my project folder that still need Differential Correction. It will display the files start and end time of the field collection the folder that it's stored in, the number of positions collected in the file, and information about the type of receiver that was used for collection. Click Next. On the screen you will need to choose your processing type. It's generally recommended to use automatic carrier and code processing. This option will process both your code and carrier data against the specified base station. The results will give you one averaged code and one averaged carrier corrected position for each of the original GNSS positions that you collected. The software will automatically choose the best end solution for you. If you're using an H-star receiver, like I am in this example, you will need to choose an H-star processing type. Trimble's latest processing software allows you to choose a single base provider with a fairly long baseline. This option will have you covered in most all instances. Click Next. On this screen we can view our correction settings. Click Change to modify. Here you can choose if you want your corrected file to include corrected and uncorrected positions or only corrected. Under GPS filtering, Trimble has made it easy on you. The Smart Automatic Filtering will provide you with the best solution in the majority of situations. This is the default option and the option that I typically recommend. Last is the Recorrect Real-Time Options. You can select this checkbox to recorrect real time positions. The accuracy of the real time positions is changed to the same quality as the post process positions. This option has no effect if there are no real time positions in the files you are post processing. Choose your settings and click OK. Click Next. On this screen, you will specify the base data that will be used for differential correction. The base provider search makes it easy to find files to process your data against. Choose this option if you want Pathfinder Office to get the base files for you. If you have already downloaded base files or collected your own base data, you can use the folder search or browse option to point Pathfinder Office to the base files stored on your PC. For this example, I'm going to use the base provider search. Click select and we'll choose a base provider. On the select base provider window, you can view your list of base providers that are available through this feature. Trimble includes a base provider list. This list includes base stations all over the world. Typically this list is updated every two to four weeks. You can also create your own list of base providers if they are not included on this list. A general rule of thumb is to choose a base provider that meets your needs. This is based upon the distance from the base provider, 
Again, this distance reflects where the data was captured, not where you're currently located. You also want to take into consideration the capability of the base provider. Which type of satellite signals and which GNSS systems does the correction source provide data for? L2 and GLONASS are represented in this window here. Go ahead and select a base provider and then click OK. Next you'll need to choose the reference position. The reference position from the base provider is going to use the coordinate recorded and stored in the base provider list. This is almost always in a WGS 1984 or ITRF reference frame if you're using a base provider from the system defined list. Use the reference position from the base files will reference the coordinate that is stored and contained within the base file itself. This may not reflect a WGS 1984 reference frame. Because of this, you may see a shift in your corrected data. As a reminder, when applying differential correction techniques, your data will be in the same reference frame as the source after the correction has been applied. After you've chosen your reference position, click Next. On this last setup window, you can select the destination you want the corrected file to be stored at. Also, whether you want it to override any existing files, this is handy if you've corrected a file multiple times to find the best solution available. Select your settings and click Start. The last window will show you the correction process. In this example, GPS Pathfinder Office is automatically downloading the files for me, then processing me in end solution. This end solution will be saved as a corrected file with a .cor extension. This may take a few minutes. Once completed, you can view your differential correction summary. This includes the number of positions corrected and an estimated accuracy for all of the positions in the file. You can now close this window. I'm going to close the original SSF file so that we can view the corrected file. Here you can see I still have the original SSF unprocessed and I have my new corrected file, the .cur. If I open the file, you'll notice that it may not physically look much different. However, if we click on one of the features, we can view the accuracy of the feature in the position properties window. This concludes our tech talk on differential correction. I hope you found this video informative and beneficial. Please join us next time. Thanks.